Oh yeah, here it is. A little bit of teasing happening here. You ready for some more? Hello, my friends. If you watch my channel, you know that I'm a big fan of Priority Bicycles. I've been riding their bikes for the past three years and I love them. They're super solid, low maintenance, and they just always work. And for a guy like me who has chosen a car-free life, that is key. And Dave and Connor and the whole team at Priority are super cool people. And I'm a fan of super cool people. Okay, let's talk about this bike. It's called the Apollo because it has 11 gears, hence the Apollo 11. What you'll notice first off is that this is the coolest looking bike in their lineup. I mean, there's a freaking rocket ship on this bike. And the production model is gonna be even cooler looking than the one that I have. The front fork with those white racing stripes is pretty sweet. I've been riding this bike for the past month and it's super fast. By far the fastest bike Priority has ever made. No offense to the Priority Coast, that's a cool cruiser, but it's not fast. It's also the lightest bike they've ever made. The medium comes in at 24 pounds. Mine is the large, so it probably weighs a pound more. There are four sizes, small, medium, large, and extra large, and it comes in green and blue. Like with all priority bicycles, the heart and soul is the low maintenance drivetrain. This is what makes the bike truly unique. There's no other drop bar gravel bike out there with this type of setup. You've got a Gates carbon drive and a new to me gearing system called the Shimano Alphine 11. First off, the carbon drive lasts three times longer than a chain. It never needs to be lubed and it doesn't rust. If you get it muddy, you can simply hose it off and you're ready to roll. The Alphine is totally enclosed from the elements, so dirt, grime, and mud don't affect it like a traditional drivetrain and you don't have to be tuning it all the time like a derailleur. Like I said before, it just works, which is a nice peace of mind when you're out on a ride. I looked up the servicing on this hub and it says that you need to change the oil every two years or 3,000 miles. And from what I can tell, it's pretty easy. You locate the little nipple on the hub, drain out the old oil and put in some new oil with a syringe. The shifting is here on the right brake lever, and let me tell you, it is buttery smooth. It might even be smoother than the pinion. There are 11 unique gears with no overlap. Check it out. The 409% gear ratio is in line with similar bikes with a one by 11 setup. My friend Dana also has this bike, and after a few weeks of riding, she decided that she wanted a smaller gear to get up the steeper hills. We do live in Colorado. She called up Priority and they sent her out a smaller cog. The point I'm making is that this setup is totally customizable and you can call up Dave at midnight and tell him you want a different cog and he'll wake up and send you a cog right away. Now that might not be totally true, but the guys at Priority are very, very helpful. Sorry, Dave. To put these bikes to the test, Dana and I rode up Mount Evans, a 14,000 foot mountain here in Colorado. We both had plenty of gearing to get to the top, and the 40 millimeter tires helped smooth out some of the rougher sections of the road. Now, if you're taking this bike up something really steep, like a 10% grade and above, you might have some trouble, but it all depends on your fitness level. High five, Dana. Woo! Yeah, we did it. I've been impressed with the mechanical disc brakes and they have no problem 
breaking on loose dirt. And Dana and I had no problems descending 14 miles down big old Mount Evans. Besides these WTB byway tires looking very cool with their tan walls, they're very fast. The smooth middle is great for cruising down roads and there's some little nubbies on the side for cornering on dirt. It can also be set up tubeless, which is what I like best. All my bikes are tubeless. These tires are 40 millimeters, but you can put up to 45 millimeter tires or even swap out the wheels and put on some 650Bs. I'll probably put on some 45 millimeter tires because I ride a lot of dirt and I like the supple feeling of a wider tire. I do want to point out that these are not quick release wheels, so you're going to want to have the right tools to get them on and off. This bike also comes with my favorite saddle, the WTB Pure. I have it on all of my bikes and I've ridden a lot of bikes in my day and a lot of different saddles and this one makes my butt the happiest by far. Now I've been getting a lot of questions about how it compares to the 600. Well, they're very different bikes, but I'll give this a shot. The 600 is a bomb proof commuter and I've been using it for over two years as my everyday bike. It's essentially my car. It has fenders, a dynamo hub that powers front and rear lights, and of course the pinion gearbox with a 600% ratio. The seating position on the 600 is more comfortable than the Apollo, but it's definitely heavier and slower. Is one better than the other? No. Is there some overlap? For sure. Besides the geometry of these two bikes being pretty different, one's a flat bar, one's a drop bar, the other main difference is the gearing system. The pinion has a lot more gears than the Apollo. Do you need that many gears? Well, it kind of depends on what you're riding. You know, I rarely use the smaller gears on my pinion setups, but it is nice to have them, especially if you're going up something super steep on a loaded down bike. For most riders, the Apollo will have plenty of gear range for you. And like I said earlier, you can customize it a little bit. I don't know if I'm being very clear, but if you're looking for a super fast, high performance gravel bike for roads and some light rail trail type gravel roads, the Apollo is the one. I'm really excited to ride this rocket all over the place. Like going on century rides in the mountains near my house or putting on a rear rack and putting on some panniers and going on some multi-day tours like Ragbri. And finally, and most importantly, I'm gonna to try to keep up with my mom on her e-bike, which is almost impossible, but this bike's gonna get me a little bit closer. Gravel bikes are really popular right now because they're versatile and you can get off the crazy roads with all the traffic and onto the quieter country roads and rail trails. I am not a big fan of riding on roads, especially now with all the distracted driving and people on their phones and not paying attention to anything. So if I can get off of those busy roads and onto something quieter, that makes me very happy. And that's the beauty of a gravel bike. You have that ability. You've probably noticed that I haven't really said anything negative about this bike, and that's because it's pretty darn awesome. And I don't know enough about all the different components and carbon and lightweight this and blah, blah, blah to really give an in-depth review of every tiny piece on this bike. Like I said at the very beginning, it just works. And I trust Priority Bikes. They've made a whole fleet of awesome bikes. And this one is really darn cool. And like I said, it is really sexy looking. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you on your purchase if you choose to buy this or not. And if you are new to my channel, check out all my other adventure videos. I have bike packing adventures from all over the world and they're pretty interesting, I think. At least my mom thinks they're cool. Maybe you would too. So like and subscribe and we will see you down the road.